in this part two of uh, clustering, we will see how we can do the horizontal clustering uh, using admin console. So in part one, we have seen that uh, a different process, okay, how we can do a clustering without the use of uh, admin console. Uh, that means uh, we had done the horizontal clustering uh, using your uh, configuration wizard when we configure the domain, okay? But in this uh, video, you will see that how we can uh, do the horizontal clustering without using the configuration wizard, that means uh, from admin console. Okay, so what is our objective? Uh, we have two nodes, node one and node two. Node one is uh, listening on uh, IP address 191.168.4.1 and node two is listening on uh, IP address 191.168.0.2. Uh, we wanted to have a horizontal clustering between both nodes where we want many server one is running on node one, many server two is running on node two. And our admin server will be on node one. And then we will have uh, two node managers on node one and node two uh, to manage uh, your ma both of the managed server. So node manager on node one will manage the managed server one and node manager on machine two will manage the managed server two with the help of admin server, uh, which is running on node one. So let us see how we can do the horizontal clustering using admin console. So what are the prerequisites for, uh, before we're going for horizontal clustering is that because we wanted to have a horizontal cluster between two nodes. So obviously you need the installation of WebLogic on both nodes, right? And important point here is uh, you have to install WebLogic server on the same path. For example, if node one, you have installed it on slash OPT slash Oracle slash middleware, make sure to install on node two as well on the same path, okay? And second, after the installation, when you go to create a domain, Okay, make sure to set, uh, don't select the option topology. That means without selecting the option topology. What does it mean? When you will get this screen when uh, during the configuration of domain, you can select the administration server. Okay, if you wanted to modify the name of admin server or you wanted to modify the listen address of admin server, then you can select the first option. And second option, you can select node manager. If you wanted to configure the username and password for your node manager and you wanted to modify some default configurations, Okay, but do not select the topology, okay, because we are not going to configure anything with the help of configuration wizard. So whatever the topology options are there, to create your uh, node manager, you to create your machines, and then to create many servers, create clusters, everything will do from the admin console. So high level step would be about uh, creating the horizontal cluster is you have to access the admin console. Uh, first, you have to create many servers. Then you have to create a cluster and then you have to assign managed server to cluster because we know that managed cluster is a grouping of managed servers. So you have to first create your uh, two managed servers here and then you have to assign those managed servers to a cluster that you also want to create. Then you have to create machines and then you have to assign managed server to machine. So machine, you know that machine is, is a, uh, you can say is a logical entity in your WebLogic server, which is used to uh, control your managed servers. Okay, so basically your node manager configurations are defined under your machine. So here we have two nodes, node one and node two. So you need two machines here, right? Because you will have uh, one uh, node manager on node one and second node manager on machine two, or you can say on node two, that means you needed two machine here, one for node one and second for node two, right? So when it is done, you have to copy paste with the help of a domain, with the help of pack and unpack command or pack and unpack utility, which comes with your WebLogic server so that you can copy your domain from machine one, node one, two, node, Important point to note here, when you create a managed server or when, when you create a machine, okay, so make sure to assign the IP address properly. So for example, if you're creating a node two managed servers, and we know that managed server one, we want on machine node one uh, with IP address of 192.168.0.1, and then managed server two, we want on node two, which is of IP address 198.168.0.2, okay? So assign the IP address properly. Similarly, when you will create a machine, inside the machines, when you configure your uh, node manager, okay, make sure to assign the IP address properly because your uh, node manager on node one will be running on a different IP address and your node manager on machine two running on a different IP address. So make sure to assign the proper IP address to your managed servers and to your node managers. So let's begin how we can create. So once you will configure a domain without the topology, okay, by default, you will see only an admin server there because we haven't done any configurations. So, okay, so you can access the admin console and you will see that only admin server there and you will click on uh, clusters. 
right? There is no cluster because we haven't done any configurations so far. Similarly, if you will click on machines, you will not see any configuration for the machine because we haven't done any configuration from the configuration wizard. So let us first create a managed server. So click on servers. And once you click on servers, you will get an option, a uh, new. Okay, so click on new option because you are going to create a new managed server. Then enter a name for your managed server. Here it is MS1. And then assign a listen address to managed server one because we know that much, uh, managed server one is going to run on node one and node one IP address is 192.168.0.1. So I've assigned the IP address of node one. Then you can assign a listen address for your managed server. Okay, if you want to go with the default then go with that one, but make sure you should not have any process on your server which is using the safe mode because you can't run uh, multiple process or you can say more than one process on a particular port on a server machine or a machine okay so make sure to update your port accordingly and then you can select the default option no this is a standalone server because we are going to create a cluster separately so first we are creating a managed server then we'll create a cluster so i'm not going to uh, select the second option which is yes create a new cluster for this server so select this option, first one, default one, okay, because we are going to create a cluster separately. Okay, so click on next, and you will see a summary of your uh, managed server. Click on finish, okay, and once finished, you click on servers tab, and then you can able to see that one managed server is created there, which is in shutdown state as of now. Similarly, again, click on servers and then new, and now again, give a name for managed server MS2, and give the listen address of node 2 because we know that managed server 2 will be running on node 2 so you have to give the ip address of node 2 similarly you can give a uh, listen address here okay and then click on finish so now click on servers then you will see two managed servers there because we have created two managed servers which is listening on uh, dot one and dot two ip addresses okay and port are same for managed server and managed server 2 because both will be running on separate nodes if it is on same node, then you have to make sure to change the port of second managed server. Now you have to create a cluster because we wanted our both of managed server to be in a cluster. Then you have to first click on clusters option, then click on new, select the cluster option, and then you have to give a name for a cluster and then go with the default options. Unicast as the messaging mode for a cluster, which is used internally for the communication between your managed servers and admin servers. Okay, go with the default multicast address and multicast port. Click on OK, and then you will see a cluster with the name, whatever you have given, it is created there. Okay. Now, what we want to do is we have created a cluster and we want our both of the managed server to assign to our clusters, right? So click on clusters, configuration tab, servers, then click on add because we are going to add managed server to our cluster, right? So there you will see a drop down box. Okay. Select the first managed server. Okay. Click on next. Okay. And then Again, click on your clusters, configurations, servers, and you can able to see that managed server is now there. Earlier it was not there, okay? So once you will assign a server to a cluster, then you can able to see that once you will go to configuration and servers, you will see the managed server there. So now, so far we have added only one managed server to this cluster. Now we wanted to add second managed servers as well. So option is same, go to your cluster and then configuration server, click on add. And after that, you have to select the MS2. Right, because now you are going to add the managed server to and then click on your uh, click on your uh, clusters tab and then you will see that two managed servers are there inside your cluster configurations and then inside your server tab because we have added both of the managed servers so you can say we have assigned both managed server to the cluster right now we have to create machine so we will have to create two machines one for managed server one and second for managed server two right go to machines click on new you have to give a name to your machine and then you can select the operating system if it is a unix based operating system then you can select the unix and if it is uh, other than that maybe windows machine then you can select the other option and click on next so once you click on next okay you will get in two important configurations not exactly two which is three important configurations one is the uh, type of node manager the default mode is ssl okay this is the uh, mode which will be used for communication with the admin server so by default the communication between your node manager and admin server is SSL, which is encrypted. Okay, so default is SSL. Let it go with the SSL. Second, you have to assign an IP address. So because we are creating this for node one, because we are creating this uh, machine for node one, so we have to assign the listen address of node one. And then the default port of your node manager is 5556, and you wanted to change, then you can change it here. Otherwise, go with the default. Okay. Now click on uh, finish. Okay. 
And once you click on finish, okay, then you will see that one machine with the name Mac one is created there. Right. Now what we have to do, we have to create a second machine for your managed server to do the same. Go to your uh, machines option and then click on new and then enter a name for machine like Mac two. Select the machine OS type, then select the default option SSL, and then here you have to give the listen address of machine two, or you can say node two because we know that this machine or this node manager will be running on your node 2 so we have to give the ip address of node 2 you can go with the default port or you if you want then you can change the default port as well and then click on machines so you will have two machines there with name mac1 and mac2 right so what we have done so far we had created two managed servers and then we have created one cluster then we have assigned both of your managed server to the cluster and then we have created two machines mac1 and mac2 and then we have assigned right now we are going to assign your no, uh, managed server to your ma machine one and machine two right just like we had created a cluster and then we have to assign your uh, ma managed servers to your cluster similarly we have we have created two machines right and now to control your manager uh, uh, managed servers with the help of a machine or you can say with the help of node manager you have to assign managed servers as well to machines right so mac one we know that this is for node one so managed server one we have to assign to mac one machine and Manage server two, we know that this will be on node two. So manage server two, you have to assign to Mac two, that is machine two, right? So to assign, just go to machines, click on your machine one, which is Mac one, right? And under that, you have to click on configurations and then server. It is similar to your clusters where you have assigned your uh, manage server to clusters. You had uh, clicked on cluster, then you have gone to configurations and servers, and then you click on add to add your server. Similarly, you click on your machine name here, Mac one go to configuration servers click on add okay and then select the manage server one okay and then you will see that machine uh, your manage server will be under mac one okay similarly to your add to your uh, manage server to your machine two mac two click on machines click on machine two and then under the server you have to select mach, uh, manage server two for machine mac two right and click on next or you can click on freeze as well okay then now you have Click on machine and then you have two many uh, machines there to see if the managed servers uh, is assigned to machine or not click on machine name okay and again click on configurations and then servers okay then you can able to see the managed server name there so on the screen i have clicked on mac one machine and then on, on to mac one i have assigned managed server one similarly if you will click on mac two machine and then you will go to configurations and server you can able to see managed server two there okay so let us do a recap what we have done so far. We have two node, node one and node two, with IP address dot one and dot two. Okay, we have installed web logic on both node under the same path, right? Then what we have done, we have created a domain, but we have created the domain on node one, right? We have initiated the configuration wizard from node one, and then we have created a node one. But only thing that what we have done is that when when we had created the managed servers or when we had created the machine two, right? We have assigned the IP address of node two, but as of now, your domain and everything is on node one. On node two, we have only the installations, no domain, right? So what we want is that we want our admin server and manage server on node one, manage server two and node manager two on machine or node two, right? So what you have to do is you have to copy your domain from node one to node. Right, because everything is on node one. We have initiated the configuration wizard from node one. So everything is on node one as of now. So there is an option, or you can say there is a utility pack and unpack that is shipped with your Oracle Web Logic servers. With the help of that, you have to pack your domain from node one and you have to extract it on the node two. So in that case, what will happen? That installation is already there on both machines on the same path. Right. So when you will extract, copy or extract your domain on machine two or node two, right? So that means your domain will also be on the same path or machine two, or you can say on node two, right? So we have installation on the same path on both node, and we will have a domain exactly on the same path on your both machines, right? So this is a topology where what we have done is that we want our admin server is on node one, manage server is on node one, and manage server two is on node two, right? And that means in that case, our manage server one and two will be on cluster so we have done the installation on uh, opt oracle middleware right so after installation it create a folder of ml server which is called a web logic home okay so now you have uh, go inside your web logic home common bin and there you will see two 
scripts packer and pack use the pack to pack your domain on node one and this is the command for that one uh, pack.sh and on windows it will be cmd and then hyphen manage equal to two then give the path of your domain and then give a name for your template file okay and then give a name for your template okay so it will pack your complete domain in cluster.jar file okay or whatever the name you will give there with the in in hyphen template then copy this cluster dot uh, jar so node two okay and then go to the same location use the unpack command and then just unpack or that means just extract the domain on node two okay so now what we have done is that we have done with the oriental clustering where we have managed server one and node manager is running on your machine one similarly you have no manager server two and one node manager is running on machine two okay and then we have a horizontal clustering between both managed servers okay now you have to start your services so start your admin server from the no, node one because your admin server is, will be on node one and to start your managed servers now because we have configured the node manager and machines so you can control your managed server from the console easily go to your admin console and then inside servers click on your control tab and inside control tab select both of your managed servers and click on the start option and your managed server will be started so thank you very much for joining watching this video and if you think this is useful make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel and i, I, will, I will come up with a few more uh, interesting videos very soon thank you very much